All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit pretty much any picture using Microsoft Copilot for free and you just need to provide a simple prompt about the thing that you want to modify. And interestingly, this ad tool is often overlooked, maybe because it's not quite as popular as ChatGPT or Perplexity. But Copilot can do a lot of things. It can create images or even editing a picture. And by the way, the image model or the image technology on Copilot is the same as the one in ChatGPT. So you can use it as a nice alternative to create or even edit a picture. All right, to edit a picture, you can navigate to copilot.microsoft.com and then you can sign into your Microsoft account. So I'm going to start a new chat right here. <clears throat> and then for this demonstration, I'll try to edit this picture. This is a barren wasteland, maybe not wasteland, but you can tell that there is not a lot of greenery in this picture. So I'll try to add some trees on this desert. Now let me just upload a picture by dragging and dropping. And by the way, you can also click on this button and then click the upload button to select the picture. It's up to you which method that you want to use. Now <clears throat> you can describe what is the thing that you want to modify. I want to ask AI to add more trees and greenery to this desert that's my prompt and yeah that's about it it's very very simple you can send a message and just wait for this AI tool to actually edit the picture and one thing that I like about Copilot is that the amount of images that you could generate is actually a bit higher than ChatGPT it is quite generous when it comes to giving you credits or access to various AI tools and remember this is free and another thing that I like is that you can actually see the progress of the image in real time. So you can see that right now it is editing the top part of the image, but it's going to go to the bottom and eventually will encapsulate the whole image. That's basically how this image model is working. So this process will take quite a while, so I'll show you the result in a second. All right, so this is the result. It's pretty amazing, right? And by the way, you can always ask AI to edit the picture even further. So this is the picture and this was the original picture. And this is the one with uh, the one that has been recreated by AI with a lot of trees and greenery. You can ask AI to do more editing. For example, I'll ask AI to add a road to the picture. It's quite simple, maybe you have to be more specific, but AI is smart enough to decide where to put the road on the picture. Alright, so this is the result. It's actually alright, but it's not quite the same scenery anymore. There are some similarities, but it's very different than this picture. Maybe that's the side effect of using AI to edit picture. And another thing that you need to know when editing with AI is that I highly recommend to just edit the image once because if you do it the next time, there's a good chance that the picture is going to be uh, look to look a bit different. So one example that I think could describe the phenomenon is that if you ask AI even to just recreate the same picture over and over again, eventually it will create a completely different picture. So there, there was this trend a few days ago where people trying to edit the same picture or not edit to recreate the same picture over and over again using ChatGPT and the result is very very different than the original picture and that's why you just want to edit image once not multiple times that's the best practice at the moment so anyway if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day